Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio. Hopefully we can squeeze this one in before the rain starts. Started a sprinkle and it stopped and started and stopped. Today we're going to look at, obviously it's from Radio Shack, in their fantastically faux leather case. It is a Radio Shack DX399. Cool little radio. Uh, not a lot of information about this one. Uh, pretty sure it was made for Radio Shack by San Jean. And uh, there's just not much out there. Uh, radio Museum has it listed at 1990, the year 1995. I don't think it was 1995. Um, but I don't know, I don't know their numbering convention of you know, 396, 392, 398, 399, if that was all, you know, year-driven or what, I don't know. Um, what I do know is it's 5 and 8 inches across, 3.6 inches in height, and 1.2 inches thick. And uh, I got this one on eBay. I... I I don't know. I think I, it was just a little too much. It was thirty dollars and twenty-three cents with shipping, and uh, don't know. I I think it was okay. I had not seen the three ninety-nine before, and I really want to take a look at it. It's worn a little more than I like. Uh, tried to clean it up as best I could, and and just so we could maybe take a quick look at it and see what we think. It's got a, maybe a two-inch speaker or so here. It's also got a twenty-seven-inch antenna. Uh, direct entry keypad, your band selection is up here, short wave, medium wave, long wave, FM, um, the inner button, time set, frequency, you can pick, like direct entry, you can go obviously to a direct entry of a frequency, or you can hit frequency, and let's see, one of these, oh no, 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 Frequency, you hit frequency, you enter your frequency in, and then hit enter. And that's how you get into a direct entry on this one. Or you can go the shortwave meter and jump to 120 meter, the 90 meter band, 75 meter band, and go around that. No tuning wheel on this one. All you got is these two little buttons here. That's why they look so worn out. And uh, power button. Fine tuning on this one, which is kind of neat. You can go in between five kilohertz and one kilohertz step um, got a clock on it it's a 24 hour clock so it's 1458 right now which is what 258 i guess in in real clocks on the right hand side all it is is a volume knob the lock display lock or not display lock but the keyboard lock is down here too and that on the back side we've got the handy dandy flap People are honking. That's wonderful. Takes three AA batteries. Vent a little vent back here just to, I don't know, enhance the sound or whatever it does. Does have an AM external antenna. That's interesting. I uh, don't know. I read the manual on it, and I'm not sure if that uh, is for AM medium wave or just short wave. I don't know. We also have FM stereo and mono for the headphones and also doubles as a DX and local switch when you're in the AM section. Headphone jack, stereo headphones or mono, whichever you want to go. DC adapter. We're back to the front end. At the very top is just a lonely little light button for the display. I don't think you can see it out here. It's very, very dim. It does work, but it's dim. And, uh, you know, without further ado, and as, as clouds come over my head, let's just fire this thing up and, and take a look at it. The antenna does swivel all the way around, and it is notched up here, like you've probably already seen, that it will be straight up when it's on its little stand, something that we kind of like. And uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's just see where we're at. Let's start off with, oh, let's just look a little medium wave action here. 
if you want to search to the next available station, you just hold the button up and it'll zip along and find something. Like I said, it really zips along 1010, I suppose. Honestly, it's, it's really sad. I thought it would do more than that. There's Indianapolis, 1070 the fan. Next stop will probably be 1390, which is Seymour. Getting good at this. So, and it starts all the way, it just keeps on going, it'll search. What I want to see, I'm curious. No, 700 doesn't come in at all. That's normally Cincinnati and, and most of the radios will pull it in. I've uh, been having trouble with it today on everything that I've tinkered with. Um, but I just wanted to see, did it pass over that? You know, was that station available and the search just passed over it? Always curious as to how much those automatic searches miss. Uh, I'm always after what they do fine, but I also wonder what they miss. Anyway, well, that's just a quick look at medium wave. Let's go to FM and, and uh, again, we're not going to stick around too long situations and in recent years we've been speaking to couples who are in blended families and we've been talking to folks who are ministering got a really to good audio to it breaks up a little bit distortion if it gets too loud kind of it's not all bad Is telling those impacted by the school shooting in Texas. Hmm. Man, you know it's something else when this is the second video I've done that, and not today, this is the second video that I've done uh, where in doing a band scan we talked about a school shooting. And uh, wow, it's happening too much, that's for sure. I don't know. Well, anyway, I digress just for a moment, and uh, thoughts go out to all those people involved, that's for sure. So, we shall keep going. Well, that's about enough of that. Long wave there again. Here in the Americas, the, the long wave stuff will be uh, a uh, non-directional beacons. Uh, airports may have a, a beacon call out there or whatever. That's about all that's there. Um, we might find something. There's the fine tune then. You can just go in. 252 is always good for something. Let's just let it search and see if it, no, it didn't find anything. Okay, enough of that. Well, let's go to short wave. Short wave. Oh, the short wave coverage is. This is interesting. Short wave coverage from 1711 to 29.99. It's one of the one of the few Radio Shack DX models that covers the whole show. I thought that was kind of cool. And if you want to go, like I said, to a particular meter, you just hit the button. I doubt there's a whole lot uh, there. Let's just, what I do want to see is when you do this search, like we're in the 90 meter section and we do a search, it'll go and then when it hits the end of that band, it'll start over again and just, just keep going. You can see it 32 and 33 and then goes back to 32 or wherever it starts at. Kind of, kind of nice, kind of, meh, I don't know. Sometimes I would like for it just to take off. Um, I do know on, what was it, the 375, I think, that if we enter in a frequency, let's just say 8 megahertz, and if we hit the scan button, I don't know if it keeps going on the 375. It just kept going through the whole thing then, and that was kind of cool. A little little trick to getting around it. 
but I don't know if it'll work on this one or not. But you see, we're out of we're out of any international band right now, and it's just scanning along. Now it may get to the 31 meter and start over. Anyway, we'll just watch it and see. Maybe it'll pick something up here. You never know. And uh, cool old radio though. Got something. No, oh, just junk. Okay, keep going. And you see it's going into the 31 meter. It, not finding a lot, and it may start over. 99, 10, it's coming up. Yeah, now it started over. So it, it goes, when it's out of the international band, it goes along, then it's into an international band 31, and then it'll start over and just loop around inside the 31 meter. So once you get that figured out, then you know how to drive around in it a little easier. I gotta figure out how to. I don't know what we're into here. Oh, 9395. What I did there is I just went into the fine tune and dropped down right on it. Has just a little bit of mute on tuning but not that great big air gap that's in there that drives everybody insane. And let's go, that was 31, let's go 25. We'll just move on up. It's not a whole lot out here in the afternoons. Cloudy and potential of storms and things. Earlier this morning, we got a lot of neat stuff. It was I was out, oh, probably 8 o'clock or so, and a lot of fantastic stations on that early. I was really pleased with it. Not this one, but some others that we looked at. Of course, now it circles, circles back around. 21 meter. And we should, when we get to 15140, we should hear... Uh, Radio Havana, Cuba, 15140. Okay, start it over. Let's see, where are we at? 21 meter? There we go. 15140? No? Okay, let's just go down and do it ourselves here. Okay, it's there. You just can't pick it out very well. Okay. Almost lost in the noise. Usually it's pretty strong. Let's go 16 meter. Oops. Let's hit that and see if there's anything. There's probably a couple of stations on this. Eh, maybe not much. to 13 meter, 21 megahertz, whatever you want to call it. We'll just, we'll just look. We have time to look. We haven't rolled over too long. It does have two alarms on that. I was looking at the, the uh, submenus and things around the keys, and it, there is two alarms to this that you can set. Kind of handy. 
Uh, it does it does do automatic tuning search on long wave, medium wave, and FM, where it'll go through and put things in a memory for you. I just don't use it enough to even mess with it. Uh, it the one thing that I, I don't understand, and it carries on through all of these, all the way up to the ATS-909X from San Jean, shortwave does not have an automatic tuning search function. And I, I find that really odd. And I don't know, Texan, Texan hasn't beat on that, on that uh, note. That they do have a good ATS and, and well, their ETM functional electronic tuning mode or whatever it's called. Anyway, well, that's about the end of that one. Pretty short little trek. Oh, we can real quick put the antenna up. I felt it sprinkle behind me. Let's just. We got. See if we can pick up WWV anyplace. No, not there. Let's just try one more here. There we go. There we go. Well, that's coming in really nice and strong. And see, that's the uh, your automatic when you're when you're doing the the searches uh, inside each band. It skips right over that. So that's interesting. And of course, like I said, you can go up. Let's see, frequency 15. There, you can hear it there. 20 is about as far as it gets. Where do I want to go? So there's 28 megahertz there. And rolls on up so this like I said this covers the whole thing which is kind of cool and not many of them do that not many of them have that range so very cool with that anyway no single sideband on this one and uh, yeah very very cool I just wanted to share it with everybody the Radio Shack DX399 and uh, neat little radio uh, it's a fun one to add to the collection. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, what the heck, give it a thumbs up anyway. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Gosh, we've got a, a ton of new people. And just I'll welcome all of you. And uh, I, I am flattered and humbled that you would... Uh, subscribe to the channel and, and be interested in, in this silliness at all. Kind of cool. And uh, anyway, if you'd like to help support the channel, there are two links under the description box. The first one's a link to PayPal, and you can donate a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, whatever you want to donate, whatever you feel inclined to donate. There's no amount too small and no amount too large, that's for sure. Um, you know, it, it, if I don't want anybody to think that they're obligated and I don't want anybody to think, well, my dollar won't help. You know, my dollar wouldn't do anything or my two dollars is nothing. Oh, no, it would. That's for sure. Uh, all the money that, that's collected goes to buy other radios just like this and turns it right around and brings all of you folks some kind of content to look at. Some kind of entertainment anyway. And uh, it does cost money to operate after a hundred and, I don't know, 130 videos maybe, something like that. I don't know how many we've done. Uh, cost money to operate, so your donations are greatly appreciated. If you don't like PayPal and, and don't want to do that, or if, you, if you're broke and all you've got is an Amazon gift card, there's another link that you can buy a gift on my Amazon wish list and, and have it sent to me. Uh, there's things there from five dollars on up to a lot of money and uh, you know you're welcome to take a look at that too so everything's appreciated that's for sure and uh, 
That's all I got on this one. Cool old radio. Wish they made it in black. I don't think they make it in black. I think it only comes in this grayish, silverish color. Ah, it's okay. And uh, I think that I'm just trying to stall and think of anything else that I missed, didn't say with this one. But I, I think we got it. So I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good weekend. All that good stuff. And we'll see you at the next review.